South Korea is a major energy importer, importing nearly all of its oil needs and the second largest importer of liquefied natural gas in the world. Electricity generation in the country mainly comes from conventional thermal power, which accounts for more than two thirds of production, and from nuclear power. Energy producers were dominated by government enterprises, although privately operated coal mines and oil refineries also existed. The National Assembly enacted a broad electricity sector restructuring program in 2000, but the restructuring process was halted amid political controversy in 2004 and remains a topic of intense political debate. South Korea has no proven oil reserves. Exploration until the 1980s in the Yellow Sea and on the continental shelf between Korea and Japan did not find any offshore oil. Coal supply in the country is insufficient and of low quality. The potential for hydroelectric power is limited because of high seasonal variations in the weather and the concentration of most of the rainfall in the summer. As of 2017, South Korean President Moon Jae-in has vowed to end the country's reliance on coal and also said the nation would move away from nuclear energy. He has taken a major step in that direction in June, saying his country would not try to extend the life of its nuclear plants, would close existing coal-fired plants, and would not build any new coal plants. Topic Overview Final energy consumption by source 2010 Coal 27.6 MTOE million ton of oil equivalent 14.2% Petroleum 100.5 MTOE 51.6% LNG 21.9 MTOE 11.3% Electricity 37.3 MTOE 19.2% Heat 1.7 MTOE 0.9% Renewable 5.8 MTOE 3% Topic: Electric power. Topic: History. The Korea Electric Power Corporation (KEPCO) provided electricity in the country. When KEPCO's predecessor, KECO, was founded in 1961, annual power production was 1,770 gigawatt-hours. Production reached 73,992 gigawatt-hours in 1987. In that year, residential customers used 17.9% of total production, public and service businesses used 16.2%, and the industrial sector used 65.9%. Sources of power generation were primarily nuclear power, coal, oil, and liquefied natural gas. Of the 54,885 gigawatt-hours of electricity generated in 1985, 22% came from nuclear plants then in operation, 74% from non-nuclear thermal plants oil and coal, and 4% from hydroelectric sites. It was predicted in 1988 that the generation structure by the year 2000 would be 10.2% hydroelectric, 12.2% oil, 22.9% coal, 10.2% LNG, and 44.5% nuclear. Topic: Statistics. <laughs> <laughs> Topic Sources
Topic: Thermal. KEPCO controls five regional JENCOs who sell via KPX to the grid. Korea East West Power, Hangudongseo Baljanju Korea Midland Power, Hangujungbu Baljanju Korea Southeastern Power, Hangugnamdong Baljanju Korea Southern Power, Hangugnambu Baljanju Korea Western Power, Hangugziobu Baljanju KOGAS, Hangugaseagongsa acts as importer of LNG for the power generators. Topic: Cogeneration and steam heating. Korea District Heating Corporation (KDHC) Hangujianyanbagongsaju supplies steam and CHP to the Seoul area and Daegu. GS Power and Shish Corp are local providers. KDHC is the world's largest district heating company. Topic: Nuclear power. South Korea placed a heavy emphasis on nuclear power generation. The country's first nuclear power plant, the Cori No. 1 located near Pusan, which opened in 1977. Eight plants operated in 1987 when atomic power generation was an estimated 71,158 million kilowatts, or 53.1% of total electric power. Topic renewable energy The government decision in July 2008 to increase investment in renewable energy to reduce reliance on foreign oil imports may provide an incentive for conglomerates' solar plans. The Ministry of Knowledge and Economy said the country intends to spend 194.4 billion won $193 million on technologies and projects, including solar, wind and biofuels. In 2008, South Korea is fast-growing gigawatt market for photovoltaics PV. In 2014, the country ranked among the world leading top 10 installers of PV systems. Hydro also comes under Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power Limited. Hangugsilyagwanjalyeju. Topic: Storage. In December 2017, Hyundai Electric announced a plan to build a 150 MW grid storage battery near Ulsan for Korea Zinc. <laughs> <laughs> Global warming According to the Carbon Dioxide Information Analysis Center CDIAC South Korea is among the top 10, namely 9th, highest country in carbon dioxide emissions in the period 1950–2005. The United States 25%, China 10%, and Russia 8% are the countries with the highest carbon dioxide emissions from 1950 to 2005. Topic: See also Economy of South Korea Environment of South Korea one less nuclear power plant Wind power in South Korea Solar power in South Korea Renewable energy by country <laughs>